Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining us for our college and university transfer information session. My name is Carly Pappas. I am the college recruiter here at Germana Community College. Just a little bit about myself. I graduated from Old Dominion University back in 2018. I then spent about a year and a half with George Mason University as an admissions counselor. So I helped both freshmen and transfer students apply to George Mason. And then in October of 2019, I joined Germana as a recruiter. So very similar to what I was doing up at Mason, just smaller scale. But this evening, we're talking about our college and university transfer programs that we offer here at Germana. Uh, first, we're going to talk about our general studies and liberal arts associates degrees. Then we'll move over to business, education and early childhood, health and physical education, registered nursing, administration of justice, psychology, and then how do you transfer to your four year when you complete your associate's degree with us? And then obviously, how do you get started at Germana? But let's first listen um, to our general studies and liberal arts. Unfortunately, our faculty members are currently teaching classes this evening. So they pre-recorded this little um, six minute information session about their program. And we're gonna go ahead and listen. Um, one of my faculty members, will you let me know if you can't hear it? Hi, everyone. Give just a second to load. I just want to thank everyone for letting me be awesome. a thank part you. of today's event. So I am Kelly Lloyd. I am currently English Department Co-Chair, and I'm really happy to be here with you to talk about general studies and liberal arts and what those majors can do for you at your Journey Manager. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so basically, uh, I'm talking about general studies and liberal arts. General studies is a really popular program at Germana. Um, of, there's a lot of students who are in this program, and it does a lot of good. Uh, general studies and liberal arts are both designed for transfer. So if you're going to get your first two years here, and then your idea is to transfer to somewhere else and finish out your bachelor's degree with another two years at a different university, then general studies and liberal arts are both two really popular for you to use. Um, I'm also going to talk to you about the benefits and skills that you would earn with these degrees, kind of the difference between general studies and liberal arts, because I know there's been some confusion about that. So I'm going to talk about a lot of the benefits of doing liberal arts and how it can save you time and money, which would be awesome, right? Uh, I'm also going to talk about program length, the different credits involved, and the admissions requirements. So. Uh, this is me. I also did this presentation with Dr. Vanover, who is the Dean of Arts and Sciences. So, general studies. We're going to start with that one first. It's basically designed to help you transfer to a four-year institution after you complete your associate's degree at Germana. So, basically, like I said before, you would do about two years with us, and then you would transfer to an institution of your choice, depending on your GPA and your goals, right? So, there's about 60 credits involved with this degree. So if you wanted to be a general studies major, you probably want a lot of flexibility, you want to be well-rounded, you want to have a good foundation basically before you would transfer to your next school, which makes a ton of sense. Uh, one of the benefits of doing general studies is that you actually have electives that are built into the major that let you have the power to try on different classes so you can really see what your passion is in case you don't already know it out of the gate. So with general studies and liberal arts, actually, you'll uh, get written and oral communication skills, right? So they're going to help you learn how to write, help you learn how to communicate effectively, which is super helpful uh, when you're trying to uh, do your further degrees and uh, go into the work field or workplace. You also have critical thinking, civic engagement, professional readiness, right? Also getting you ready for uh, the workplace. Quantitative literacy, so you're getting some math skills, scientific literacy, which gives you science skills, obviously. And then we're also going to give you uh, some background in diversity and inclusion, which is really exciting. So general studies is kind of like a big umbrella, right? So if you are going to transfer um, and you decide to go the general studies track, maybe you don't know exactly where you want to be next, right? General studies is a good mark, a uh, good place to start. Liberal arts is also a really good place to start. So again, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but general studies is the umbrella, right? If you have an understanding of what you already want to do, 
uh, then general studies also has some other tracks underneath it, which I think other people are going to talk about tonight. So we have administration of justice, health and physical education, pre-BSN, if you want to go into nursing or allied health, and then psychology specializations. So these are different tracks from just general studies, right? Um, but they all kind of get you to that same goal of transferring to another institution. So now we can talk about liberal arts, which I'm very excited about, because I know there's a lot of confusion about what the difference is between general arts and liberal, uh, general arts, <laughs> general studies and liberal arts. So I want to kind of clear that up. So they're both designed for transfer, and they're actually very similar degrees. So all the good stuff I just said about general studies pretty much applies to liberal arts. The only difference is what happens with your electives, right? So with general studies, I said you had, you know, X amount of credits to play around with to see what you're passionate about. But if you're going to go to a liberal arts school when you transfer, right, then I would highly suggest you be a liberal arts major because that will set you up to also have your foreign languages done when you go there, right? So in a nutshell, liberal arts is the general studies track. It just adds foreign language in. So it's still two years. You still have 60 credits. You just have left um, less flexibility with the electives because some of those might be taken up with foreign language, which is cheaper in, um, to take with us than it would be at your next institution. So uh, who should be doing the liberal arts track? If you already know what kind of major you want to do and it falls into one of these categories, you should definitely consider being a liberal arts major, right? Because it'll save you some of the other requirements when you move on to your uh, final two years. So if you're thinking about economics, foreign language, pre-law, history, political science, government, humanities, English, uh, literature, journalism, philosophy, religion, or sociology, if any of those realms are what you're interested in, definitely uh, ask questions, reach out to me, um, because liberal arts would be a really good track for you and kind of set you up to succeed for when you try to transfer to the next place. So the foreign language, again, is the only difference. Um, students have to complete through 202 in a foreign language, and some of your high school foreign language experience may count. So that's really exciting. It could help you get through it even faster. So for both of them, uh, the admission requirements, basically they're going to look through your your college, tran your, college <laughs> your previous transcript or have informed self-placement depending on how long it's been since you've been out of high school, right? Um, but we're an open institution, so we want to get you in the door and we want to get you into your coursework. And so we don't put up a lot of barriers to stop you from doing that, which is really exciting. So I know this will be covered pretty much by everybody, but we're a very economical place to start. And again, if you have any questions for me, I'm at klloyd at germana.edu, and I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you, Professor Lloyd. I know you're not here with us this evening, but we really appreciate it. Um, now I'd like to move over to business and introduce Professor Lance. Hi, everyone, and welcome. We are very glad that you joined us this evening. And what I'll talk about is a little bit about business. So with that, Carly, go ahead, there you go. We've got two tracks that you can do at Germana. One is business administration and the other is a business management. Both of these are associate degrees. The difference between them, the business administration degree is intended for someone who is looking to transfer to get their four-year degree or possibly to continue on you know, to get their master's, their MBA. The business administration degree, uh, you know, you can branch off when you get into the four year into accounting, management, marketing, economics, different, different things like that. However, the business management, and I'll flip flop between these two a little bit for you, uh, is a degree that is really designed to help someone learn about business. Many people who take the business management associate degree want to either start their own business or they only want to do a two-year degree because the business management degree has quite a bit of business classes. Your business administration degree has what Professor Lloyd was just talking about. Many of those basic requirements, the math, the science, the history, social uh, sciences that are required to transfer to a four-year degree. So in business administration, Primarily, the business classes you'll get there happen to be your accounting 211, 212, your economics, uh, macro, micro, uh, introduction to business, and uh, introduction to marketing. However, in business management, 
those are a ton of business classes. However, as I mentioned, business administration is if you're looking to transfer. Business management is if you are not looking to transfer. So it's definitely one thing that we find is some people come in and say, well, you know, I want to be in management and they think they can just take the management. Now, with that said, there are a few colleges that will accept the business management, some of those classes. So it's not as though they all aren't accepted. It's just typically when you get to that four-year institution, they want you to take those core business subject classes with them. So that's really the difference between the two. One thing that I have on here that I'd like to highlight, it says College Everywhere, 100% online accelerated option. Both of these degrees, we just now, uh, starting in the fall, will have both of them available in the College Everywhere format. What does that mean? That means you can complete either one of these degrees in one year. You start in the fall, you go the fall semester, spring semester, and you would graduate in August of the following year. Or you can start in spring and go spring, summer, fall, and graduate in fall. Those courses in the College Everywhere are five-week sessions. However, math is a seven-week. So we've got the math and the um, a couple of the classes in seven-week sessions, but they're really condensed, and it gives some people who really want to just get through their degree very quickly, an opportunity to do that. So I would encourage you to look at the business administration if you're looking to transfer. If you own your own business, you just want to have associate degree or you want to start your own business, business management may be right for you. And then if you are looking to really focus and get through your degree in a very expeditious manner, you may want to consider and look at our College Everywhere 100% online accelerated option that we have. Another thing that we offer that I would say is kind of like stackable credentials is we have an accounting certificate, a business course certificate, an entrepreneur certificate, and a supervision. So what we've built in is you've got options that some of these certificates, if you take the electives appropriately, like entrepreneurship, you'll get an entrepreneur certificate at the same time you're getting your business management degree or possibly an entrepreneur certificate over in the business administration. So we can help you uh, stack some of these additional credentials as we work with you through the advising process. And that as we get on to the very end of the presentation and talk about how do you register and um, what type of advising, I would encourage you to ask as many questions uh, as you need. Every question is very important to us to help you really understand the certificates, the different degree programs, and maybe what's best for you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Professor Lance. And now we're going to move over to education and early childhood uh, with Professor Connor. Hello, good evening and welcome. I am the director of the um, early childhood and education programs at Germana. And if you are interested in a career in education or in teaching, Germana has three programs, three options. You can move on, Carly. Keep going. Okay, um, there are three pathways you can take. It's the early childhood, pre-K through third grade. We have the education, K-8, which is elementary to middle school. And then we have the education, K-12, which it focuses on high school um, and middle school. Okay, you can move on, Carly. Um, in the early childhood program, um, if you are interested in working in a preschool setting or a primary education setting up to third grade. Um, this is definitely the degree for you. Um, if you would like to work in a child care center to become a teacher, a director, perhaps you'd like to start your own child care center, or if you would like to work in a public school setting and be a paraeducator um, or transfer to earn a bachelor's degree and then become a licensed teacher up to third grade. Um, you would want to go down the early childhood track. And the early childhood program has a degree program, but it also has two certificates. We have a career studies certificate and a child development certificate. One is 15 credit hours, 
the other one is 31, and they all work towards that final degree if you decide to continue um, to earn your degree. You can move on, Carly. Um, and the next two programs we have are the education pre-K-8 and K-12. And these programs are really, if you are interested in working in primary or secondary education, um, specifically too, if you're looking for middle school or high school, this would be the best program um, to go into for that. And these programs are specific to transfer programs. So you're gonna be taking a lot of general education courses, and then you take one education course um, with the plan to transfer um, to earn a four-year degree and go on and get a teaching license. And I will tell you that all three programs um, have practicum experiences. So you actually get to go into either a preschool setting or a middle school or high school setting and gain some experience and get a feel for what it's like to actually teach in a classroom setting. Um, and all three of these programs have transfer options available. You can move on. And the other um, great thing, um, Germana has lots of financial aid opportunities um, for all of the programs, but our early childhood program specifically has um, some scholarship programs that are just based on the major. They're not income based, they're just based on being an early childhood major. So if you want to go down that track, there are lots of opportunities um, for financial aid um, to assist you with grants and scholarships. Um, and we have other programs that they will talk about later, but um, there are lots of financial opportunities open to get your degree. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. And now we're going to move over to health and physical education. Um, awesome. Hello, my name is John Strafalino. I'm an associate professor of health and physical education here at Germana. I'm also the department chair for the health, physical education and I oversee our pharmacy technician program. Now the program that I'm gonna be talking about tonight is our general studies, health and physical education specialization. And as Professor Lloyd spoke of earlier, the general education programs, we have some different specializations, usually with the, with the, with the other one, there's, there's some transfer electives, but as what we've done with this is streamline the process and giving you more direction with some of those electives with and taking some choices out and have some options that are going to help to transfer into some of the four-year colleges. Now, kinesiology is one of the areas. Kinesiology is the study of movement. So we talk about health and physical education. So students who are looking at going into teaching physical education, if they're looking at getting into becoming a physical therapist, if they're looking at going into extra, exercise science, getting a fitness related degree, athletic training, this would be the program for them. So it gives you a good baseline of, of, of the information you'll need to move on to the four-year college. Now, the one thing that I always advocate people to do, if you know your target institution of where your next step is after Germana, do some research in advance. We have several different science sequences and some of the colleges may need some different science sequence. So you might need the Chem 111, which is our Chem 1 and our Chem 2. You might need our Bio 1 and Bio 2. So those are some different options you may need. You, as a part of this program, you do need the Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2, as well as some other health and physical education classes that we built into this. But a lot of opportunities out there in the field of, of kinesiology. The other thing we do have also is as, a, oh, I can't remember who talked about this, but the, the stepladder process. We do have a, which isn't a transfer program, but we do have a program for personal training. It's a career study certificate program. And most of the courses kind of dovetail into this. So some of the students kind of do both at once. There's a couple extra classes, but then they can go and work as a personal trainer, become certified through national organization while they're finishing this up. Awesome, thank you. Um, and now we're gonna move over and learn a little bit about registered nursing um, with um, Professor Morgan. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. April Morgan and I'm the co-department chair for the registered nursing program here at Germana Community College. 
and I'm here to speak with you about our registered nursing program and our general studies previous in uh, specialization degree. So there are a few different pathways a person can take to become a registered nurse. You can obtain a diploma, an associate degree, or a bachelor's degree in nursing to qualify to take the NCLEX RN licensure exam in order to become a registered nurse. Here at Germana, we offer the Associate in Applied Science degree in nursing, which is typically called our RN program or our AAS nursing degree program. So this is a two and a half year program or five semesters and students complete 69 credit hours to earn this degree. Students must also apply uh, and be admitted to the program in order to take the 11 nursing courses required to complete the degree. However, many uh, of our general education courses required may be taken prior to being admitted to the nursing program or while you're taking the required nursing program courses. Once a student completes the nursing program and passes the NCLEX RN licensure exam, then they may practice as a registered nurse. We also encourage our graduates to transfer to four-year universities to go on to complete their bachelor's of science in nursing degree, or it's also called a BSN degree. Um, a nurse with their BSN degree is more marketable, meaning that they have more job opportunities available to them. Registered nurses work in various areas of healthcare and have varying salaries. The American Nurses Association explains that RNs form the backbone of healthcare provision in the United States. RNs provide cr critical healthcare to, public, to the public wherever it's needed. So nurses pretty much help you from all stages of life, from womb to tomb and in sickness and in health, I like to say. So if you love science, if you love working hands-on with people to help them improve their health, then nursing may be your calling and Germana's nursing program can help you get there. Our nurses who graduate from Germana's nursing program are well known throughout our community. And many of our graduates now serve in leadership capacities throughout the, um, com throughout the community. Last year, we had a 94% pass rate on our NCLEX RN exam. Uh, nationally, the average is 83.7%. So as I said earlier, Germana can get you there. So if you're interested in becoming a registered nurse, here are the application requirements. First and foremost, become a Germana student and then meet with our qualified academic advisors and they'll guide you through the process of getting started. So you want to be enrolled in our prerequisite courses that are required um, prior to applying. A student must have a C or better in all five courses and they have, must have a GPA of 2.5 or higher in order to be eligible. We also encourage all of our students to strive for a B or better in Bio 141, Anatomy and Physiology 1. By having a B or better in this course, it makes you a more competitive applicant. Students must also um, obtain a 45% or higher on their Kaplan entrance exam and complete a criminal background check in order to be eligible to apply. Our application cycle for the spring semester runs between September and October with an October 15th deadline. To start in our fall semester, the application cycle starts in February 1st and the deadline is March 15th. Students will be receiving an email about their application status from the admissions department. And they usually receive that email by the end of November or the end of April respectively. In addition to our nursing program, Germana also offers a general studies pre-bachelors of science in nursing specialization, also called the pre-BSN specialization degree. This general studies degree is an associate of arts and science degree. 
It's designed to allow students to take the majority of the required general education courses for a bachelor's degree at the community college and community college prices, and then transfer to a four-year university to finish that BSN degree. This degree is also part of our College Everywhere program. So you can complete this degree online and in one year by taking five and seven week courses. Many of our students complete this degree and complete the RN program at the same time, utilizing the summer and winter sessions to complete the required courses for the degree. So if you have any further questions about this degree or the RN program, please sign up and navigate to meet with an academic advisor after you apply. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. And then we're gonna move over to Administration of Justice with Professor Knoll. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanna welcome you here tonight. So I want to mention to you as well that um, I am a former Germana Community College student, graduate, so, um, and also I graduated from Old Dominion University. Um, let's see. So I'll start with the why first, why you might want to go into the administration of justice field or the criminal justice field. And there's a variety of reasons, but many people um, get into this line of work because they're interested in helping people. And some people actually, they want to save lives. So they, this is a great environment to do that in. And you get to make an impact or make an impact right in your community. So if, you, if that's something that interests you, this might be a field for you. Law enforcement careers, well, we can say one thing, they're never boring. You won't be bored in this field. You can earn a great salary in, in law enforcement as well. Um, they come with great benefits. Um, it's competitive, but it's, it's good. And there's room for career advancement. So the sky can be the limit for many people. And you can work in a variety of places. Everywhere, you, there's no city out there that doesn't need someone in either in, in law enforcement, the police field or security or corrections, any of those fields, you're always gonna be able to find some sort of employment in this field. And lastly, all people are welcome. Okay, uh, let's see. Also, so you, I'll get to the what or what, what jobs are available. So there are, um, just, a, just an abundance of positions that, that you could go into in this field, again, from law enforcement to um, becoming a security officer for working for one of these federal agencies like the FBI or Secret Service, um, paraprofessional counseling. There's just so many things and also corrections and um, the legal field. Uh, let's see. Now here at Germana, we offer a variety of degrees and any of those degrees and certificates that we have would fit very well into any of the career fields that, that I mentioned. We have our Associate of Arts and Sciences degree. And I wanna add that that degree can, could be completed completely online. And um, it's a general studies degree, administration of justice uh, specialization degree. So that degree you can use if you're going to transfer to a four-year um, institution, which is great. Um, and so many students do choose that option. And I highly encourage that if you're going to, again, transfer to a four-year. And then we also have the Associate of Applied Science degree as well. Um, like Professor Lance stated earlier, both of these degrees are definitely great um, as far as the transfer degree or the AAS degree. But with the AAS degree, a lot of us think of that as more of a terminal degree that you're, you probably won't transfer to a four-year degree, but you could, you could. Um, the only thing I will caution, caution you about is that the amount of ADJ uh, classes that you would take, um, it's not that they won't transfer, it's just that would, would they be needed at the four-year? So again, with the, with, as far as transferring, we generally recommend that you go with the, uh, or stay on the general studies track, the transfer degree track, if you're gonna go to a four-year degree. Um, both of these um, degrees can be completed totally online as well. And we encourage you, if, if you, if you could, can, take courses in the summer, and that would speed up the process. But most students will take two years to complete the program, but it could be done sooner, depending on um, the amount of courses that you're able to take. We also offer a um, certificate uh, for you to take the Foundations of Criminal Justice. And again, um, this uh, certificate can be completed timely, depending on how quickly you want to get to the program, how, how many classes you, you're able to take it at one, at one time. So all of these courses can be taken 
uh, certificate and degree programs can be taken online um, for your convenience and they will all flow into any of the career fields that um, I mentioned um, before and they're all on the transfer list. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to reach out. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Professor. And then we're gonna move over to our psychology specialization uh, with uh, Dr. Hanley. Sorry, I had to unmute myself. Would help to turn my camera on as well. Now you can see me, right? There we go, now we can see you. <laughs> Excellent, sorry about that. All right, so uh, I'm Dr. Kevin Handley. That is a picture of me. Um, uh, I always include that picture when I talk to students because that was actually a picture of me that was part of a picture uh, that was drawn on the whiteboard by some of my students uh, when I was running a few minutes late to class. Um, and I, it, I had a great relationship with those students and they captured it perfectly. So I said, well, I'm just gonna take this and use it everywhere. So at any rate, uh, thanks for coming tonight. Um, hopefully you're interested in psychology. If not, uh, that's okay. But I wanna tell you about some of the benefits of psychology as a major and as a specialization. Um, the other member of our department, whoops, I have things pop up on my screen, sorry. Uh, the other member of uh, our department that is most involved in the psychology specialization uh, is Dr. Deborah Resendiz. Um, she's also a psychologist. We have a, uh, another member of our department, uh, Dr. Gail Wolf. You might take some classes with her. Um, she focuses more on the paraprofessional counseling certificate. So you're probably gonna deal with Dr. Resendiz or myself if you're interested in the psychology specialization transfer degree program. So why a psychology specialization? Why a psychology major? Well, there's lots of reasons. Uh, some of them are pretty obvious that you probably have already thought of. Um, the most common that we hear is that you're interested in a career of mental health. This is certainly a big topic these days. We hear an awful lot about mental health, especially during COVID. So a lot of students are interested in going into the mental health field, or at least are thinking about it. Uh, another reason is because you have some sort of interest in helping people with substance abuse problems. So substance abuse could be considered another part of mental health. We tend to keep them separate uh, in our you know, industry for some reason, I'm not sure why, but we do. But there could be a different career track if you're interested in helping individuals with uh, substance abuse. And sometimes it's a quicker career path. So even if you do want to go into that very specific area, you'll still need a lot of psychology training. Uh, you may want a career in physical therapy or occupational therapy. So you uh, heard Professor Straffolino earlier talking about that. Um, a lot of students choose to major in psychology because when you look at the requirements necessary after a bachelor's degree program to get into a graduate program in occupational therapy or physical therapy, uh, a lot of the courses are, that are required are psychology courses. So sometimes it's easiest to do a psychology major if you're planning to become an occupational therapist. Uh, my son is at a four-year college now, planning to go into occupational therapy and he's majoring in psychology. So there's an awful lot of psychology that goes into those particular helping professions, as well as others like uh, speech and language pathology. But the one that might be of interest to a lot of you is you're really not sure what career path you're on and you wanna learn about people. If you haven't heard the news, um, pretty much every career you'll go into will require that you deal with people in one form or another, whether it's business and sales or administration of justice or healthcare, you're gonna end up dealing with people. And so psychology is a specialization where you can learn an awful lot about yourself and other people. So what is the psychology specialization? Essentially, it's the general studies transfer degree. We call it a specialization because essentially you take all of the not all, but most of the uh, elective courses that you need to complete the general studies degree, and you fill them up with psychology courses. The math requirements that can be used to fill the requirements for the general studies degree, generally there's lots of options, but we tell you the specific ones that we want you to take. And why do we want you to take these? Well, because we want you to have a really strong foundation that will prepare you for pursuing a bachelor's degree in psychology. So it's always a question when you leave German and you go to a four-year school and you want to major in anything, well, are you well prepared for that? Well, we were really concerned about this in psychology because psychology is the fourth most popular major in the United States. 
And we wanted to make sure that when you get to the four-year institution, you're not behind the other students. So we're gonna get you the math that you need. You might still have to take some other math and science when you get there, um, a, good a good science foundation and the basic courses that every psychology major needs. And so we do our best to make sure that none of your coursework is wasted, so to speak, when you go to the four-year school. So you get the foundational psychology courses and you're gonna get the foundation in math and uh, lab science as well. So how does this benefit you? You know, why bother with this? Well, a couple things, as I mentioned before, you're gonna learn an awful lot about people and yourself. And of course I'm biased because I'm a clinical psychologist, but I think this is pretty valuable. The other way I just mentioned, you'll be prepared to jump right into the more advanced courses that are required for the psychology major uh, in any bachelor's degree program. And you're gonna gain knowledge about thinking and behavior and emotion. That's gonna be a great fit for any career that you go into. Uh, I've never heard a student go through our psychology specialization then go to a four-year school, major in something other than psychology, and say that their credits were wasted, okay? Worst case scenario, you can learn an awful lot about psychology and maybe even create enough, of, uh, enough course credits in psychology to get a minor at your four-year school that you go into. So it's always a good choice. If you're not sure what to do, you know, this is a good place to think about starting, and you can always talk to us about it. So speaking of talking to us about it, if you've got questions, best people to contact are myself or Dr. Resendiz. If you're interested in the certificate in paraprofessional counseling, you definitely wanna uh, contact Dr. Gail Wolf. But we're happy to talk to you about psychology, what your career path might look like. A lot of people have questions about, I don't know what I can do with a degree in psychology. I've heard that you can't get a job, not true. I've heard that you have to go to school forever to get, be, you know, to get a career in psychology, also not true. Uh, you don't have to go for, to school forever to be a doctor. You can do all kinds of things right after you get a bachelor's degree or after you get an associate's degree or after you get a certificate in paraprofessional counseling. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to talk to you and we'll help you get wherever you need to go. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome. And then we're going to talk a little bit about how to transfer. So you completed your associate's degree. Now what? Um, so I'd like to introduce Miss he Heather. She's going to talk a little bit about our career and transfer services at Germana. Thank you very much. So good evening, everybody. Um, I'm happy to be here and um, presenting on um, a, something near and dear to me, which is the topic of transfer. So I work at Germana as the transfer counselor, and I'm part of a team. Um, I work in the career and transfer services office and. Um, with me, we've got a career counselor, an internship counselor, um, myself as the transfer counselor, and we also have um, a lovely administrative assistant that helps um, answer our emails um, and help triage students so she gets, us, you know, gets them to the right counselor. Um, so thank you very much. So this kind of goes over this slide, just kind of like the overview of what our office offers. Um, Tonight, we've heard from a lot of faculty about some of the different concentrations and programs and pathways you can pick from at Germana. And some of you might not be sure where to start and aren't quite sure what you wanna major in. So that's um, one of the number one reasons someone would come to our office um, for some help. So we do career assessments, we help students explore different majors. Um, we also help students with getting a job now, a part-time job. Um, maybe getting, getting an internship or some hands-on experience while they're at Germana. Um, and then obviously a lot of our students come because they want a bachelor's degree. So we are the, the beginning you know, of that journey. So we help students um, look at all of their transfer options, navigate the transfer process, um, read and interpret the guarantee admission agreement. And we also talk a little bit about transfer grants and scholarships. So planning for the next stop, um, what will that cost me? Because um, at Germana, um, we're about a third the cost of a university. So we try to prepare students for that, that when they leave, um, they might be looking for other scholarship opportunities um, to help offset the cost of, of their next, next stop. So um, these are just some snapshots of the website. Um, I wanted to show you two, two really good tools that we have on our website, um, on Germana's website. There's um, a transfer page that goes over guarantee admission agreements. And um, you'll see, if you click there, you'll see we have a huge list of transfer partners. Um, most of the agreements are 
state in Virginia, um, in the state of Virginia. And they're a mix of all the public schools are listed there and some of the private schools. Um, it's a really big list. So it's a little overwhelming as a student to navigate that and kind of figure out what, what does this really mean? So what, what I encourage you to do is early on, you know, even before you apply to Germana or your first semester, you wanna get in there and look at um, some of the schools we have agreements with, what kind of GPA do I need to get there? Um, are there certain courses I need to take in order to qualify for guaranteed admission? It's all spelled out there for you. Um, what we try to do is list a, a highlight um, page for each school. And that's really like a short Cliff Notes version of the four page document. So we try to condense it into one page. So it's easier for, for you to interpret. It's a little um, easier on, um, I guess, it's more student friendly and, and easier language than reading the contract that we have. So um, there you will find, you know, a minimum GPA. Um, some schools want a 3.0, some schools want a 2.5. So you've got to kind of determine what kind of grades do I need to get into this school? Um, some schools specify certain courses you have to have, certain grades and courses. Um, and I suppose um, an important thing to point out is not all majors are covered by guarantee admission. Some majors at institutions are competitive for transfer students and, and for freshmen alike. But um, those would be things like maybe an art program. Um, you might have to have a portfolio to get into an art school um, and it may not be covered by guarantee admission. All right, so um, transfer guide. This is something else that Germana provides. We have links um, to the transfer guides for all the public schools and some of the private schools. Um, so these links go directly to the university's um, pages and transfer guides are really a good tool for you to look at to see, okay, so I know I wanna transfer, this is an example from Mason um, and it happens to be a, an accounting business degree. So um, this is a good tool to look at to kind of map out your course at Germana. Um, most of our programs are lined up pretty seamlessly. So for example, um, Professor Lance was talking about business administration. Um, that's set up to include the accounting classes you need, the business 100 class you need, and the macro and microeconomics. So those are built in there. Um, they're pretty standard that all universities are looking for those classes. Um, some things that might differentiate would be the math. What math should I take? Um, Mason, as you can see, has Math 261 on there. So that's an applied calculus class. Um, other schools might want a statistic. So transfer guides are really helpful um, to use and follow. And it really helps um, take the pressure off and it helps you pick what classes do I need to take next semester? Um, and what do I need to fit into my associate's degree? So when I get to my university, um, I come in as a junior and I've, I'm prepared, right? So I, I've done all the, the right courses as a freshman and a sophomore. So they try to mirror what a um, freshman or sophomore student would take at the university. So you don't lose any credit. Um, this page here kind of shows all of the different schools we do have partnerships with or agreements with. Um, as I stated, most of them are Virginia um, universities and colleges, some are, some are outside. Some are online colleges, but a lot of them um, are within the um, Commonwealth of Virginia. Um, and I get asked a lot, well, can I apply to other schools? You certainly can. So um, these are just the programs we have guaranteed admission agreements with, but students can certainly transfer out of state, you know, or apply to, to other schools. Um, another common question I get is, can I have guaranteed admission to more than one school? And the answer is yes. So if you um, come to Germana and do, do well in your coursework, finish that associate's degree, you'll have a lot of options for transfer um, after you leave. So I, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys so much. And we're gonna stick around for some questions. Awesome, thank you. And then lastly, how do you get started at Germana? Um, we've all kind of alluded to it throughout the presentation. We're an open access institution. We don't have any deadlines to apply to be a normal Germana student. Now, if you're interested in our nursing program, or we also have dental assisting, physical therapist assistant, you need to meet some prerequisites and take some tests before you can actually apply to that program specifically. But everything else, um, all you have to do is submit your online application. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to fill out. 
We don't have an application fee. We do not require any test scores. So if you haven't taken an SAT or an ACT, you don't need to necessarily. Um, so it's really, really easy to get started at Germana. Um, if you're a senior right now, I highly suggest submitting your application. So by the time you graduate in May or June, you can get enrolled for your fall classes and